Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk Can Do Press Bell Button for Notifications. Nepal's parliament has already passed a necessary amendment to their constitution, bringing about the country's new map that now includes territories of India as theirs. These territories being Limpi Adhura, Lipu Lake and Kalapani. Nepal-India relations are sadly going through a rough terrain at the moment. Nepal claims that King Mahindra gave the Kalapani location temporarily to India on India's request pursuant to India's logistical impediments in 1962 during the war with China. In the past also, you know, there have been issues which, which got to be resolved diplomatically and amicably. Uh, you know, for instance, decades ago, King Barindra of Nepal had terminated a contract that China had won under a global tender to build the 210 km road closer to the Indian border. After the then Indian government, you know, uh, expressed its concerns over the security. Consequently, the, the contract was award, awarded to India. India was relied upon as a key actor in Nepal's internal politics, including being instrumental in scripting the ouster of the Nepal monarchy. China has been, you know, nervous about the united presence of India, United States and the European Union in Nepal. And their clout on internal politics. Perhaps to counter that, China started boosting its presence and investment in Nepal, in the areas of aviation, tourism, infrastructure, post-earthquake reconstruction, rehabilitation, trade and energy, and many more sectors, demonstrating its deep interest in Nepal. The Maoists are exercising massive influence in Nepal's governance today. I think somewhere India's foreign policy in 2005 and onwards apparently miscalculated the monarchy's departure in Nepal will increase India's own influence on Nepal. Further political leadership in Nepal, you know, double crossed India by seeking their support to get into power and then, you know, kind of switched sides. India and Nepal have had major setbacks in the past, as one of which I mentioned earlier. You know, it has been spread over five decades, leading to, you know, three trade embargoes as well, you know, uh, triggering out of security issues. But then, you know, they got to be resolved through the intervention of the heads of the nations and even the private negotiators uh, like, you know, the Indian royalty who have deep uh, family ties with the royalty in Nepal. But in the current times, Nepal appears to be exploiting India's security anxieties, perhaps on the asking of China or some other vested internal interests. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press bell button for notifications.